Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will perform a two-way ANOVA. The present type and gender are my independent variables, whereas the BDI is my dependent variable. Gender has two categories, male and female. The present type has four categories, low section, middle section, high section and house arrest. After performing the analysis, I will show you that how we can report the results in the APA format. To perform a two-way ANOVA, click on Analysis, then ANOVA. In the pop-up window, again click on ANOVA. Then dependent variable, click on BDI and then click on this arrow button. After that, select Gender and Prison by shift down arrow or you can move it by one by one. Select the gender, then this arrow, again prison type and this arrow. After that, click on Overall Model Test. Come down and you can see there are three model terms included in the analysis. Then assumption checks. So click on this assumption check and select all of the three. Homogeneity for the variances, normality test for the data and QQ plot also tell us about the distribution of the data. So the Levine's test for the homogeneity of variances is found to be insignificant. It means that there is no difference among the categories in terms of variance. After that, normality test, Shapiro-Wilkes test, it is also found to be insignificant, it depicting that the data is following normal distribution, there are no significant outliers. After that, QGU plot, you can see that most of majority of the data is around this central line, so data is following the normal distribution. So after the satisfaction of the assumption, we come towards ANOVA table. Overall, model is found to be significant predictor of BDI because the p-value is less than 0.05. Then gender, there is a significant difference among male and females on the BDI because the p-value is less than 0.05, it is found to be significant. The present type also has a significant main effect on the BDI because the p-value is less than 0.05. The interaction of the gender and present type also has a significant effect on the BDI, p-value is less than 0.05. As the gender, prison and the interaction is found to be significant. Now we have to perform post hoc test. So click on this post hoc, select gender, prison type and their interaction, select move all of them one by one there. So you will get the results for the post hoc test. So the post hoc test reveals that there is a significant difference between male and female because the p-value is less than 0.05. Further, when we talk about the post hoc test for the present type, we can see that all of the comparisons are found to be significant except the middle section and low section prisoners because the p-value is greater than 0.05. You can, you can read the results of the post hoc for the present type in this way that the difference between high section and the middle section prisoners is found to be significant because the p-value is less than 0.05. Now there are very lengthy results for the post hoc test of gender and the present type. You can see that the prisoners, male prisoners in the high section hasn't any, there's no difference between prison, male prisoners in the middle section. Likewise, male prisoners in the highest section and the male prisoners in the low section, there is no difference, p-value greater than 0.05. No difference is found for, it. again, the male in the highest section and the male in house arrest. However, you can see that the male in the highest section with the females in the highest section, there is a huge difference exists. So in this way, you can treat this whole table. I'm skipping it because it will take too much time and the video will become too much lengthy. However, I have written a detailed paragraph report in the AP style based upon this table. Please take a snap of this table at this stage so you can be able to understand that paragraph in a better way. Now, the report, a two-way analysis of variance was conducted to examine the effects of prison type, gender and the interaction of prison type and gender on the BDI. There was a significant main effect of prison type on the BDI F392 is equal to 22.84. You can understand these results from this table. Prison type degrees of freedom are 3, 
the residual degree of freedom 92 the f value with the present type is 22.84 and the t value is less than 0.001 so all these values have been depicted there similarly there was also significant if main effect of gender on the bdi f1 the degree of freedom for the gender 92 for the residual f value 9.03 p value is equal to 0 0.003 Additionally, there was a significant interaction between present type and gender on the BDI. F3, 92 is equal to 5.15, P is equal to 0 0.002. As all of them are significant, so we have performed a post hoc test. Post hoc test using Tuki HST revealed significant differences between all level of present type except middle section and low section prisoners. Further, the 2 KHSD test revealed significant differences between males and females at different categories. There was, now this paragraph is most important, please open this paragraph and the results of the interaction post hoc test for the interaction in two windows so that you can understand it. There was a significant interaction of male in the high section with the female in the high section, p value 0.017 and females in the house arrest. There was also a significant interaction of female in the high section with the male in all present types. I suggest to you that I hope that on the basis of p-value we'll have to decide whether significant or insignificant. But to understand this paragraph, please open that result into simultaneously windows. Thanks a lot for watching the video. You can contact me on the WhatsApp number, my email at any time. Bye.